Hey guys, it's Kate, and welcome back to Imagine If Dolls. Now, today I'm doing something a little bit different than last week, I guess, but not really too different. Um, so FedEx had lost my Christmas present package in the mail, and I got a credit from AG to order something else. So I went in and I ordered some of Corinne's collection, including her ski outfit and her skis. So I thought that we could open them up and I could give you my opinion on them. So let's get them right open. So this jacket is extremely well made. It feels like an actual snow jacket, which I was pretty happy with. It feels like like the snow jackets that I have personally it does have a working zipper because American Girl does that it's got this pretty purple on the inside which I think is so cool and it kind of matches the one on the snow pants which is cool it does have a hood but there's no like hole in the back for the hair to stick out it's got this pretty white trim that matches the gloves it's got this little logo which I think is on her skis or something as well but it's on like some of her other accessories and stuff and I think that's really cool now the pants as I said have this little like zigzag design at the bottom they kind of widen so that they fit on your doll better but they store flat which I think is really cool and really well designed on the back however it's just completely plain it's just that darker purple blue color which I mean is pretty um but i think it's really cute so yeah so moving right on along to the headband now she does have another headband in her collection which is the one that came with her skis and that one's white so it's similar to this one but this one's blue so it matches the ski gear and i'm not sure if you can have this underneath the helmet i haven't really tried putting it on but i'm pretty sure what you would do is you'd pull it pull your hair back and then you would have the headband underneath the helmet. But anyway, moving on to the gloves, these actually look really, really cute. I did have some issues getting them onto the doll at some points where the thumbs just won't fit onto the doll. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but yeah, they match the rest of the snow gear. And then the final thing in this part is these socks. Now, a lot of people thought it was really weird that these this outfit didn't come with shoes and i agree but if you have corinne you could always use her meat shoes with it and i'm sure it would work just as well but i believe you're supposed to purchase this with the skis which is why it doesn't have shoes these socks are very cute they're just a stretchy little fabric they're pink and there's not really much else to say about them they're just little ankle socks and with the power of movie magic dusk is now in the ski outfit she is really cute. I didn't really have much trouble getting this outfit on besides the gloves. Now, I don't have anything underneath this outfit, but it absolutely seems like it's big enough so that you could have something underneath it if you really wanted to. Um, it's very cute and it fits the dolls and the characters really well. My little sister and I love watching the stop motion and it definitely fits so well. So I think it's very cute and I definitely recommend it if you live in some place that's snowy and you want to get snow pictures over the winter or whatever, I recommend this outfit 100%. It's so cute and so well made. So now we can take a look at the skis. I think these are so cute. They do retail for $45 I believe, which in my opinion is a lot of money. It's not the most expensive thing by any means, but it's definitely a little bit more expensive. Now we get a look at the skis. I think these are really, really cute. I love the little like mountain design on them and how they match her ski outfit with the colors. And I just think they're so cute. Now I do know that there's like little springs on the back part or there's like something so that it will hold the shoe in and then you can have it on your doll. And I think it's very cute. It works really well and it was super easy to put the shoe in when I had it on my dolls. But I think they did a really great job. 
Now looking at the boots, they are completely a hard plastic. Now they aren't a solid piece though, so they do like rotate kind of at where the ankle is so that it's easier to get on the doll. And there's a little Velcro so that the pieces don't move and your doll's foot falls out of it. And I was messing around here with it looks like a mouth or something when you open it. Um, I did struggle a little bit to get these shoes on because I don't know if I was doing it wrong. But I think just trying to get it into like the boot part and then getting the foot in was a little bit difficult. But after a minute it was pretty easy. So now if we take a look at the helmet, it is a plain white helmet. It does have some pretty cool like little indent details and it's very cute. It does have this snap in the back so that you can secure the goggles onto it and you don't lose them. Kind of similar to Sage's helmet that I have, her riding helmet. There's a little snap to easily take on and off the helmet and there's like this little chin guard off to the side it actually goes off to the side of the doll's chin a little bit which looks kind of funny now there are also these stickers that you can decorate the helmet with which i have already done at this point and i think they're really cute my one problem is that they kind of wrinkle up because it's on a curved surface so you're going to get some wrinkles if you put them in certain spots now moving on to the ski poles, they match the rest of the color scheme really well. They kind of look like they'd be a flimsy plastic, but they're actually pretty strong. Now the purple part is more of a hard plastic, and the pink is kind of like a rubbery hard plastic. I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it's not like the hard plastic of everything else. It's a little bit rubbery. And of course the handles have like this little section that's snipped out of them so that you can easily get it onto the doll. I will say trying to get them onto the doll when the doll has the gloves on can be a little bit tricky, but it's pretty easy after a little bit of effort, I guess. And they can fall off pretty easily and sometimes I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if that's just how it is, but yeah. And next, we'll take a look at the goggles, which are known on Instagram and YouTube and everything for being opaque. And you can't see anything through them. I did hold them up to my eyes because I was curious, and you definitely can't see anything. <laughs> now, you can kind of see, like, if you look really hard, like an outline if you run something directly across it. But besides that, they are really, really cute, match the color scheme, and I think they just did a really good job. They're made really well, so I don't know what else to say about them. Now, last but not least, the final item in this set is like a little arm guard. I don't know exactly what you would call this, but I have one for when I go biking. It's just this little elastic that will fit around the doll's arm, and it has a velcro in the back and then it's got this clear plastic that can hold a card or mine holds my phone but here it's got Corinne's ski pass so that she can go skiing and I'm sure she just keeps this on her when she goes skiing and you can see like all the little details they put into it it's a nice hard plastic it's really really thick so I think it's really well made and the little print is adorable and it says Colorado Mountain Ski Pass. I just think it's so cute. It did take a second to get into the plastic, but that means it'll probably stay really snugly in there and it won't fall out if you have a child playing with it. And yeah, I think they did a really good job with this whole set. So let's get it onto a doll. And here is Dusk wearing her skiing outfit. It's very cute. Like I said, there is a bit of a struggle putting the boots on, but that's about all. Everything else is pretty easy after a minute or so of trying. And I think it's all really cute. And if you want to, I totally recommend getting this set. It's all really well made and just so adorable. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.